Hey, what's up everybody? Andrew Steele here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to tell you a little bit about myself, my background, the goals of this channel, and some of the content that you're going to see when you subscribe to this channel. for 11 years now. I wash and detail high-end motorhomes for a living. I've been able to meet a lot of different RVers and develop relationships. Originally, this YouTube channel started when I was shopping for my coach. Ended up buying a 2008 Tiffin Phaeton. But while I was shopping for my coach, I ended up asking a lot of my different clients what do they like about their coach? What do they not like about their coach? What is the cost involved with this coach? And really wanted to educate myself as much as possible. And during that time, I got a ton of great information and I thought it would be a good idea to share some of that information with the world. I want this channel to be as organic as possible. I started filming you, uh, clients and friends, coaches, and got a little bit of good feedback and then ended up buying my coach. It started making all kinds of different videos. If you've watched the channel, you've seen some tours of million dollar, two million dollar coaches, high-end coaches. That's something that I've always been really intrigued by is being able to see the insides of the coaches and really get an inside look at what they're all about. I just want to show anything RV related that I think is cool. I have done, made a few videos just about cleaning the rigs. Now I am, uh, I would consider myself an expert in the RV detail world. I've done it all day, every day for the last several years. I've made a few videos on cleaning your RV. I have a lot of experience in cleaning RVs and a lot of knowledge and made some really fun videos with some great tips to clean your RV. I highly recommend checking those out. Uh, easy way to wash your RV using only five gallons of water, easy way to remove bugs. Wanted to share some of that stuff with you guys and that's gotten some good feedback. And then tours of million dollar coaches have gotten a lot of good feedback as well. So that's something that I want to continue to do. and. Any cool experiences that I have, any cool people that I meet, any RV related stuff that I have along the journey, I want to share with you guys. So make sure to subscribe if that's something that you're interested in. My first RV was a 1991 Airstream Excella. It was a 32 foot rig. I bought it in Sturgis, South Dakota in 2011. I had that RV for a couple years. I lived in it. I remodeled it. I polished out the exterior, put a ton of work on it, ended up uh, selling it and making a little bit of money on it. But for the amount of hours that I put into it, it was probably a wash. I maybe made, you know, 50 cents an hour, a dollar an hour for the thousands of hours that I put into restoring that Airstream, but it was really a fun project. That got me into RVing and I enjoyed that so much, but I wanted something a lot bigger. So my next RV was a 2010 44 foot KZ Inferno fifth wheel toy hauler. That was a, a different experience. I never bought a truck that was big enough to haul it. I would have it shipped back and forth between South Dakota and Arizona. And I did the math and, and I was only gonna move the coach twice a year. And the amount of money I would have spent on insuring and registering a big dually pickup that was big enough to pull a 19,000 pound rig, I found it cheaper to hire somebody to transport that rig back and forth between South Dakota and Arizona. So 
that was my second RV. Now, sometime, somewhere in there as well, I bought a 1996 Furon Covington Class A gas rig. And the gentleman that that owned the rig passed away and didn't really have any family or anything, so it was an abandoned vehicle. And the RV resort uh, gave me a call and asked if I wanted to buy an RV or was interested in buying an RV. So I bought this RV for $2,500, and it still had all the guy's stuff in it. It was, you know, it was kind of fun. We, you know, we found a bunch of coins and a ring, and you know, we we're looking for stuff of value. But it was also kind of weird to be looking through um, all of someone's personal belongings and it just just was kind of a weird experience but I ended up hiring someone else just to clean it and just kind of throw everything out after I went through it and got all the valuables so I got it all cleaned up I spent another thousand dollars getting the fuel pump fixed I think I spent like eight or nine hundred dollars on new tires and then I put it on Craigslist so I was in it for about 4,500 bucks or 5,000 bucks, something like that. And I sold it for 7,500 bucks or 7,000, something like that. I think I made 2,000 or 2,500 bucks on the deal and I was really happy about it. It worked well. The people paid me literally in like wadded up tens and fives. God only knows what they're doing with that RV or you know where that money came from, but hey, bless them. Um, that was a really cool experience to buy and sell an RV that the guy died and I think he was living in he was living in the RV when he died I don't know where he died but all of his personal belongings were in it so kind of a weird story but if you spend enough years in the RV world you run into situations like that and I also uh, had a I had access to I didn't own it but I rented it uh, 2000 and 16 Winnebago Brave that belongs to a family member of mine and they don't use the coach at all so I've rented that for a couple different summers got to take it up to South Dakota and treat it like it was mine and that was really a lot of fun uh, it was the retro style 1969 I did a video review on the 2016 Winnebago Brave that was one of the first couple videos that I made so I hope you guys are enjoying my videos I literally started this whole process. I didn't know anything about filming or video editing or YouTube, any of that. But I started this and I've been learning about it. I've been having a blast with it. I hope you accept my apology for some of my editing being, being less than perfect to say the least and some of my filming. I'm a little bit disappointed that the video that I've made that's gotten the most traction and gotten the most views, I think it's at like 2600 views or something right now is two million dollar Prevo tour and when I filmed that that video I was had been working all day I knew it was great content I just wanted to slap together a video but I didn't have any time to plan for it I just kind of gra grabbed my camera last minute and my videography skills have improved significantly since then so I'm gonna make another video about that bus sometime soon when I get a chance and look forward to sharing that with you guys but and then just a couple months ago I bought this Tiffin Phaeton again so I'm looking forward to touring all kinds of RV resorts providing you guys with all kinds of content uh, my original goals for this YouTube channel were to get to a hundred subscribers and to get to a thousand subscribers so as I film this video I'm a little bit over 250 something subscribers and greatly appreciate each and every one of you and I hope more of you subscribe and help me get to that second goal of a thousand subscribers and once I reach that goal uh, we'll see we'll see what comes after that so I look forward to uh, showing you guys an inside look at all of the different RV related content that I get by being an RV owner and also being someone that's been providing a service to high-end RV owners for the last 11 years and I've been able to make a lot of friendships with a lot of those owners and uh, thankfully a lot of them are willing to share some of that information with me. So I'm Andrew Steele and RVing with Andrew Steele is my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe if you want to see more RV related content.